Thank you all so much for inviting me to speak at this public meeting of the Access Board. I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you today about the importance and value of making people, making sure that people with disabilities have access to fitness equipment and facilities. As you know, this issue is particularly important to me. Exercise and fitness were essential to my recovery, in fact, my survival after my aircraft was shot down, and they remain priorities for me today. I have so far completed four marathons since my injury. This fulfilled a promise I made to myself at Walter Reed going through occup occupational and physical therapy. But beyond that, it's important for all Americans to maintain good health, and that means people with disabilities and chronic illnesses too. Obesity rates for adults with disabilities are higher than those without disabilities, leading to higher rates of chronic disease and worse health outcomes. But the disability community experiences unfair barriers to exercise as a result of inaccessible fitness facilities. Increasing the accessibility of exercise equipment would help all Americans achieve better health outcomes. As you know, fitness facil facilities are required to meet straightforward accessible design standards such as providing sufficient space next to every type of exercise equipment so that a person in a wheelchair may be able to use it. But significant work remains to be done to make sure that Americans with disabilities have equal opportunity to exercise. Too many fitness facilities fall short of meeting federal standards for accessible design, and there is need to both strengthen and simplify the guidelines. The federal government, in consultation with the fitness industry and the disability community, should establish universal design specifications for exercise equipment. That is why I am planning to reintroduce the Exercise and Fitness for All Act later this month. This bill would require the Access Board to issue guidelines, specify the number and types of accessible equipment required in a fitness, in a fitness facility. The DOJ would also need to issue implementing regulations. No one should be denied the right or the ability to a healthy lifestyle because they have a disability but many exercise gyms and fitness facilities all across our country are not accessible for people with disabilities that do not comply with federal rules. I know firsthand how frustrating the problem is. This legislation will help reduce the barriers that prevent many Americans from accessing gyms all across our great nation. So thank you again for all that you do and for making accessible health and fitness a reality for millions of Americans. And I look forward to working with you on this issue going forward. Be well.